in solidarity with Palestine. We meet here to bear witness to the suffering, to the suffering of the Palestinian people. We are here heartbroken and as mad as hell. We are here, we are here to say to the world that the occupation, the apartheid, the human rights vi violations, the bombardment, the savagery, the obscenity, the ethnic cleansing must end. We gather, we gather at a time where genocide is televised and yet the international community looks the other way. Answer me this, answer me this. Where is the protection of international law for the children of Gaza? Where is the protection of international law for the population of the West Bank, for the refugee camps, for the mothers, the fathers, the children who have suffered for generations? I believe we have now reached a tipping point. I've been at these rallies, like the rest of you, for a very long time. And I am determined, and I hope that you are determined, that this will end. This will stop. We could be depressed, you know. You could throw your hands up in desperation and say, well, what are we going to do? Just remember, there's more of us than them. Just remember, there are more people across the world, across this globe, who long for, who demand for Palestinian freedom. And just remember, although Ireland has not moved yet, yet, others have. South Africa has. Spain has and will. So coming from this, coming from this gathering, from this demonstration, we must keep the pressure up. Israel must be referred to the International Criminal Court. South Africa has done it, Ireland must do it. We must see sanctions. We must seek sanctions. The Taoiseach has identified collective punishment. He has said that Israel's actions cannot be without consequence. So what are the consequences? Where are the consequences? Now is a time to be active. Now is a time for the Irish spirit of Sirsha, of freedom, of dignity to assert itself like never ever before. Because this long walk to freedom, that is Palestine, is our story too. And we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility as people of conscience, as citizens of the world, to make sure that no Palestinian makes that walk alone. That is my pledge. That is my pledge as a political activist. That is my pledge as a political leader. So now, from Ireland, it must be heard loud and clear that Israeli war crimes will not go unpunished. That Netanyahu's government will face international tribunals and the full wrath of the international community. And for the little children that we've seen in their agony, for their mothers, their fathers, Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry. Palestine will never, ever die.